Hi everyone, in this video I want to introduce to you a new free utility from Microsoft called Winget. This utility has many useful functions. Its main purpose is to manage applications from the command prompt on your Windows 11 or on your Windows 10 machine. So among the functions of this utility are two very important functions and this is the export and import functions. So let me explain. The export function it will export a list of all applications from one PC and the import function will import these applications into the new PC. So this way you can batch install a list of applications instead of choosing them one by one or instead of integrating them into an image which is very complicated. The export itself will not export the application files and settings from your PC. It will only export a list of the applications and this list contains instructions on how to install the applications. And the import operation, it will go and read this list and fetch all these applications from the internet and install them with default settings on the new PC. I can think of two use cases where this utility is very useful. The first one is that if you want to reinstall your PC or if you're migrating from Windows 10 to Windows 11. And the second use case is that if you frequently prepare PCs for your clients or for your friends, this can be very useful for you and it will save you lots of time. So let me show you this step by step. So this here is a source PC. So this is a PC where all the applications are installed and we want to duplicate these applications into the target PC. So the first thing you need to do is to open an elevated command prompt. So let me show you. Click on the search box. This is a Windows 10 PC, but the instructions also apply to a Windows 11 PC. So click in the search box and type in CMD, right click command prompt and choose run as administrator. Click yes if prompted. So now we have the command prompt as administrator. So on this PC, I have many applications. Let me show you the applications that are installed on this PC. So let's go to applications and then under applications, you see here that I have, for instance, 7-zip, I have Audacity, I have also OBS, which is here and I have Inkscape and so on. So all these applications, I want to migrate them to the new PC. Let me close this. So this is a command that you need to key in in your source PC. Winget space export minus O for output file. And then here I'm going to put the output file under my documents folder. So I'm going to use an environment variable. So I'm going to use percent user profile percent and then backslash documents so this way it will save it usually under c column backslash users backslash your username and then documents and then i'm gonna name it apps list and then i'm gonna here put an option so that we accept the agreement automatically so minus minus accept minus source minus agreements and here also you can add another option is to include the versions of the applications. So this way, when you import the applications, they will be installed in the version that you want to, but I'm not going to use this. So I'm going to just put it here for you to show it and then I'm going to remove it. So minus minus include minus versions. So I'm not going to use this as I told you. And if you don't use the include versions option in your export operation, the import operation will simply go to the internet and get the latest version of the application. So let's hit enter to execute the export operation now. And here it will go and fetch the list of applications. So if there are applications that cannot be migrated, it will show it to you here. So now we have the file ready. So just ignore these messages because these are usually all system applications and they come pre-installed with Windows already. So let me minimize this and let's see the file. Maybe you need to edit the file so that you don't export all the applications. So the file should be now under documents. And you see this is the file. Just use notepad to open it. So right click, open with, and then choose notepad and OK. And this is the JSON file that was created. So here under this file, you have all the applications that will be installed when you perform the import operation with Winget. So you have 7-zip, Audacity, and so on. And here I'm going to remove some of the applications. So here you are free to edit 
this file so that you don't install all the applications that were exported. For instance, I'm going to remove everything that starts with Microsoft. When you remove a package, make sure to respect the syntax. So you have an opening bracket and you have a closing bracket with comma after it. So you need to remove all this line. So this is like this, select it. And everything here under Microsoft, I'm going to remove it. And then what I'm going to remove also is this Microsoft OneDrive here. So I'm going to start with its opening bracket and all the space that is in front of it. See here we have even LibreOffice. You're going to see how it will be installed automatically, all this. So I'm going to remove this. So now we have all these applications that are going to be installed on the new PC. So let's save the file now. File save. And let's close it. And now this is everything that we need to do on this source PC. I'm going to switch now to the target PC and show you how to perform the import operation so that you get all these applications batch installed automatically. So this here is my target PC. And now I'm going to copy the file under the documents folders also. So I'm going to open the documents folder. And this is the app list file. So now it is here. Let me close this. Before I import the file, I'm going to show you quickly on the target PC how the applications are not installed. So let's open settings. And here under settings, I'm going to go to apps. And this is a Windows 11 PC, by the way. And let's go under apps. And you see here under apps, I don't have, for instance, 7-Zip. I don't have Audacity. I don't have also Inkscape or OBS. So all these applications will be imported. So I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to open an elevated command prompt also here. So click on the search icon and then key in CMD, right click command prompt and choose run as administrator. Click yes if prompted. I'm going to bring this in the middle and make it a little bit bigger. So this is a command that we're going to use to import the list of applications. So I'm going to explain it to you. So we get import to specify that we are importing minus I to specify the file. And this is the same file that we exported on the source PC. So we copied it here after we modified it. And minus minus ignore versions means that even if we exported the versions of the applications while using the export command here, the import operation, it will ignore the versions that we exported and it will install the latest versions from the web. And the two other options here, minus minus accept package agreements and minus minus accept source agreements. This is to automatically accept the agreements while importing the applications. So let's hit enter and you're going to see how the applications will start installing. Of course, here I'm going to accelerate the video and I'll come back when this operation is almost finished. By the way, all the installations that you're seeing in front of you are fully automated and I'm not touching neither the mouse nor the keyboard. Notice here what's happening. So first it is downloading the application package, then it verifies the hash and then it will install it. So now the import operation is finished. So let me close this. We don't need it anymore. And notice all these applications that are installed. So let's see under settings if the applications were installed here. So let's give it a couple of seconds to refresh automatically. And here it is refreshed. So you have here 7-Zip, Audacity, and everything was installed. So let's try to launch any of these applications. So for instance, we can launch CPU-Z here. So here it is working. Winget has many other functions, but in this video, I covered only the export and import functions. If you want to know more about the other functions, please leave me a comment in the comments section below, and I'll be glad to cover the other functions in future videos. I hope that this video was useful to you. If it was, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it, and this will help my channel greatly, and this way, you're not gonna miss any future videos I make. I'm Eloy and I want to thank you once again for watching. See you in the next video.